Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the October 2nd, 2007 Board of Selectmen Sewer Commission's meeting. We had executive session, so we've already um, had the roll call. And um, I would like to just jump out of order. I'm sorry for the delay. As I said, we were in executive session. Um, we do have a show cause hearing at 7.15 for um, Barry's Lighthouse. And um, at this time, I would like to turn the uh, meeting over to Selectman Savageo to conduct the hearing. I'm going to recuse myself from it. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, motion to open this hearing. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? This is a uh, Board of Selectmen public hearing acting in our capacity as the licensing authority of the town of Wareham. And we have given a formal notice to this, to this licensee um, that we were conducting this show cause hearing uh, as of tonight. Proper notice has been given, uh, in other words. And so what we are attempting to do is to establish whether or not we will revoke this license, whether we will continue it or modify it. Um, and that is the purpose of the hearing. I understand that the applicant is not present and has informed the town administrator that uh, he will not be present? That's correct, Mr. Chairman. We did, uh, just for to enter into the record, we did advertise this in the Wareham Courier on September 20th. We have a tear sheet if the board would like to review <coughs> that. Uh, the board's office did receive a call today from, I apologize, I don't know if it's Barry Martin. I know he was referred to as Barry, the owner. I yeah. didn't speak with him personally. He stated that he would not be here this evening. Uh, I believe he was encouraged to simply just come in and turn the license <coughs> over, uh, but that <coughs> action was not taken by Barry's Lighthouse. Okay, and for the record, he's not required to be in attendance or required to have a representative here, and it's his choice uh, within his rights not to uh, uh, come forward and speak on the matter. This is concerning general laws of Massachusetts, Part 1, Administration of the Government, Title 20, Public Safety and Good Order, Chapter 138, Alcoholic Liquors Regulation, Sale to be Prohibited in Times... Well, I won't go down that road. Uh, chapter 138, Section 77, Cancellation of Licenses Upon Cessation of License Business. Section 77 states the licensing authority may, after hearing or reasonable opportunity thereof, cancel any license issued under the chapter if the licensee ceases to conduct the license business. If the local licensing authority determines that a license should be canceled as before said, the license may the licensee may appeal to the commission as if such authorities had refused to grant the license upon an original application thereof, and the decision of the commission upon such appeal shall be uh, final. I understand that uh, in the record, and to state for the record, there's a history of of visitations to the premises by the building inspector who has um, notified the Board of Selectmen's office that on numerous occasions he's had an occasion to visit the property and found a closed sign and no visible activity showing um, business activity at this time. Um, therefore, uh, the Board can state its pleasure as to whether it sh shall revoke this license uh, and put it back basically into the circulation of of licenses that are available uh, under um, under stats under the statute governed by the Alcohol Beverage uh, Commission ABCC. Um, before I turn it over to the board for discussion and deliberation, this is a public hearing. Is there anybody here who wishes to speak on the matter, either for or against uh, this license? Hearing and seeing none, then um, yes. Mr. Chairman, I would make uh, a motion to m take administrative notice of the contents of the license holder's file. Motion, second? Second. In favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, abstain, unanimous. Um, administrative uh, notice has been taken. Um, does the board uh, wish to discuss the matter or uh, render a, a, a motion? Hearing no discussion, is there a motion to revoke this license? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? It's unanimous. This license is revoked pending 
appeal uh, rights to the ABCC and the commission. Motion to close the hearing. So moved. Second. Second. In favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Abstain? It's unanimous. Thank you. The motion is closed. I turn the chair back to the chair. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. The first item on the agenda is citizens' participation. Is there anyone here that would like to address the board? Please come forward. Madam Selectman, my name is William White. Some time ago, you indicated um, an analysis of legal charges made against the um, town of Wareham. I wonder at what time you'll be making us aware of what those charges were and what the results of your analysis um, are. I can tell you that there was approximately $15,000 worth of charges that we had billed out to um, private entities that for one, for one reason or another that we didn't feel that they were town legal fees. Um, I know that we have received some payments on them. I don't know ex to what extent. I know that there were a couple of um, entities that did send us checks um, with letters that essentially said, oh, we thought we were supposed to pay. Uh, you know, oh, oh, we were waiting for a billing. Um, I know that um, community preservation was one that when we were first discussing it, uh, Mrs. Um, uh, Nancy Miller um, contacted me actually before I even went through it and said um, that, you know, we've been waiting for, you know, ours and, and we know that they were coming and, and uh, I know that that transfer has taken place and I know a, a couple of others. I'm not sure of the total amounts of them. I can check with um, the town accountant to see exactly how many have um, actually paid or what the response has been on them. Thank you. Have systems been put in place that will preclude this from happening another budget cycle? If, uh, not, if not, when will they be? Well, under, um, under the, the procedures of the town, anyone that's going to town council has to either go through the board of selectmen or the town administrator any department heads or anything have to go through the town administrator um, so hopefully we will um, be a little more diligent on the open door policy that has been in the past and to see if that maybe by looking at the issues that the town administrator can kind of solve them um, you know, without going to council or, or giving an opinion from past experience or whatever. So hopefully that will um, be it. And, and count, town council is aware um, of who is authorized to speak with them um, as far as, you know, of getting authorization first. As a matter of fact, we just recently had one that council called me because I had been talking to council and she said, well, Mr. McCullough called me. I said, oh, no, he, he's okay. He, you know, He's aware of this and everything, so it, it is. Um, they they have been a little more diligent as far as who's talking to them and and what is being s spoken of about. Thank you very much, <clears throat> I, I'm Madam sure. Chair. Can I just add a little bit to that? I think this issue has to be considered within the context of our current budget con constraints crisis. Right. Really, um, the reason that we've modified the policy, which is we used to have council come down on a monthly basis to give, uh, you know, render opinions and, and do work for various committees and, and departments. We suspended that on the basis that um, the budget couldn't tolerate that any longer. And we have committed as a board to, to become stricter in terms of access to council, not to be restrictive of council. And I want that to be clearly understood. We're not trying to deny people council whatsoever. It's, that is, it is a very major uh, an expensive piece of the budget year to year um, and in the last six Jane when we were on the finance committee the other seven years ago since the last seven years um, we've never come within a, you know a close range of what we actually budgeted for legal fees there are uh, they've been substantially more and so I just hope that you know the people understand we're not trying to restrict council we're trying to restrict the budget again thank you very much thank you mr. white 
I'm just going to briefly say, Madam Chair, that I have an open door policy, but certainly town council does right. not. Um, and in fact, it, it, 